This week, I got a lesson in mixed martial arts from one of the legends of the sport. Mixed martial arts, or MMA, combines jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, other martial arts, so contestants get to see who's best at doing everything. MMA has suddenly become very popular. It's now broadcast in more than 130 countries. It can be pretty brutal. Some people don't like to watch this. But I do. Plenty of people do. Pay-per-view broadcasts of matches like this one have outdrawn the biggest boxing matches. But they better not put on a match in this town. New York State's legislators have decided in their wisdom that such matches should not be allowed. One of them is New York Assemblyman Bob Riley. He calls MMA the glorification of brutality. Assemblyman, it is brutal, so it should be banned? Well, I believe so, yes. I think that we are trying in our state to eliminate, eradicate all sorts of violence, whether it's domestic violence or bullying in schools or gun violence. And this is just another form of violence which we don't want in the state. Given your druthers, you would ban pro-boxing in New York State? I would put in new rules that would make it safer for the participants. And I say that, having grown up as a uh, fan of professional boxing and having great heroes, whether it was Marci Rocky Marciano, Jersey Joe Walcott, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. This week, I went to a local MMA gym and asked the athletes about your ban. This is just too brutal. Shouldn't be allowed. That's uneducated. It's an uneducated opinion. They don't understand uh, jujitsu. They don't understand uh, fighting. They don't understand boxing. People might get killed. High school cheerleading is more dangerous than MMA. There actually is data on that. You're going to ban high school cheerleading? Well, you know, in ultimate fighting, uh, the purpose is to aggressively damage your opponent. And we are, in our state, trying to ban violence. We are trying to get violence uh, out of our schools, out of our cities, out of our homes. Everybody wants that. But these are consenting adults who want to do this and want to earn money doing it. It seems pretty arrogant for you politicians you know, I, to say, no, you may not. Well, some people want to uh, participate in prostitution. Some people want to take drugs. Some people want to go 100 miles an hour on the highway. Well, that Some threatens people other enjoy people. dog fighting. Some people enjoy dog fighting. All right. That um, threatens well, animals. <laughs> what I believe. The animals aren't what consenting I believe, adults. What I believe is that violence begets sil violence, and we cannot let violence permeate our society. Thank you, Assemblyman Bob Riley. Uh, now joining us is MMA's biggest promoter, Dana Whites, the president of the UFC, which stands for Ultimate Fighting Championship. So, Dana, you heard what the control freak, I mean, the politicians said. What's <laughs> your reaction to that? It's tough to listen to. It's, it's, it's painful. Um, the, the thing with him is he's very uneducated about the sport and about the people who participate in the sport. Well, he says it's too violent. You're like pornography. I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. That is so dumb. I mean, <clears throat> over the last 10 years, and listen, there's, there's no doubt. And one of the big problems with New York is that the way that the UFC got started is a bunch of television guys got together and said, let's see which, uh, you know, which fighting style is the best. It was only supposed to be one pay-per-view. In a million years, these guys never thought that they were creating a sport. The answer to that age-old question is, no one fighting style is the best. You have to be complete in everything. Uh, and that's how the UFC was created. Over the last 10 years, me and my partners bought this thing, got involved, and, and literally turned this thing into a sport. We're sanctioned in every single athletic commission throughout the country, except for New York, and in other countries. In, in the almost 20-year history of the UFC, there's never been a death or serious injury. And, you know, you, you said it, but I mean, there's tons of contact sports out there. Football, boxing, hockey. I mean, his comparison to boxing and, and, and the UFC was, it, it absolutely made no sense whatsoever. Um, when you take these professional athletes who train in, 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 this, in, this, uh, in this sport for as long as they do, we're overseen by basically the government. 
The government comes in and regulates us just like professional boxing. And as long as you make sure you have two healthy athletes going in there to compete, you have the proper medical staff there, they get the proper medical testing after, this is one of the safest sports in the world. He is completely uneducated on what he's talking about. He compared it to dog fighting. Dog fighting and pornography and just kept talking about all these stupid things that make absolutely no sense. Listen, if he doesn't like uh, combat sports or contact sports, that's one thing. That's one man's opinion. This guy, this one guy, should determine how what everybody else thinks and what everybody else wants to watch and what other people want to compete in and what people have trained their whole life to do. It's crazy. It makes no sense at all. When you're talking to politicians like this guy, does it make you want to punch somebody? No, you know what? It's, it's, it's been a long, hard battle for us to, to, to basically flip the, the, the stigma of, of what people think of the UFC, but this guy is like the one guy left, you know? We really don't <laughs> battle this anymore. We really don't. He's like the only guy left on Earth that thinks this way. And, and it's, it's one thing, like I said, the guy does not educate himself on the sport and what the sport is really about. If he did, he'd be a lot easier to talk to. To sit there and listen to what he just had to say, it was painful. Everything he says makes no sense. But he's a politician. He has the power over you and me. Yeah, so all you can do is you just keep going in there and trying to educate. This isn't a guy who really has a problem with, with, with the UFC or mixed martial arts. This is a guy who doesn't like contact sports. He said himself, listen, if I could go back and change and, and make boxing go away and make hockey go away and make all these other things that I don't like go away, I would. This is one guy. What about the millions and millions of people around the world that like hockey and all these other games? This guy's going to decide what you can watch and what you should be into? Seems wrong to me, too. Thank you very much, Dana White. If consenting adults want to fight each other for money, it's none of the government's business.